I'm Jasper Knight, and I'm Professor of Physical Geography at Vitz University. Lightning is associated with thunderstorms, and thunderstorms are an important part of our unique weather in South Africa. The processes by which lightning forms in the atmosphere are actually really complicated. So if the atmosphere isn't moving, if all the air in the atmosphere is just kind of sitting there, then we get an equal distribution of positively and negatively charged ions within the atmosphere. However, if the atmosphere is unstable and we have thunder clouds starting to form, then we have turbulence within the atmosphere and that enables the atmosphere to move around. When thunder clouds form and air is moving upwards through the atmosphere, then the air parcel is cooling down. If it cools and condenses, we can have water droplets being formed, and we can also have those water droplets freezing to form ice crystals. The ice crystals have a low density, so they're transported upwards to the top of the thundercloud. The water droplets are relatively dense, so they sink to the bottom of the thundercloud. The ice crystals are positively charged. The water droplets are negatively charged. So within any one thundercloud, we have positively charged ions at the top and negatively charged ions at the bottom. But the land surface is also positively charged. And this is because the Earth has its own unique magnetic field. So between the bottom of the thundercloud and the land surface, there is a charge difference. If this charge difference is big enough, then there's going to be an electrical attraction between the ions in the thundercloud and the ions on the land surface. So what happens when a lightning flash is formed is that we get the transfer of that heat and energy from the bottom of the thundercloud towards the land surface. And that initial attraction from the thundercloud to the land surface is known as a leader. Jumping upwards from the land surface towards the cloud comes a stream of positively charged ions. And that return is what is giving us our lightning flash. Lightning is a, a real hazard to people all over the world, but lightning can also be affected by processes of climate change. So we know that the Earth is getting warmer, and as part of that, that can have knock-on effects on the frequency with which we get lightning strikes on the land surface. So as the atmosphere heats up and the Earth gets warmer and warmer, that extra heat and energy can cause instability in the atmosphere, can cause extra strong thunderstorms, and that can cause an increased frequency of lightning.